Can you cash out of your car lease early? The short answer, yes. And today, we're going to help you determine if you're a great candidate to do an early opt-out of a car lease. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homework Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? This video brought to you by YouTube's best channel on car buying and selling, courtesy of the Homework Guy team. Another round of super high intensity training is coming up for you car buyers. If you like the Homework Guy videos and want to sport some of our awesome swag like this hoodie, well, you can find it on the merch shelf down below. We appreciate your support very much. It's not unusual that people get tired of a lease car. Perhaps that's you. You thought that you wanted to drive this vehicle for 12, 24, 36 months, and so you signed the bottom line. Now that's not turning out to be the case. You want out? The good news, you can do it. However, there's a few important considerations before you run out the door to your car just to go drop it off at the dealership. Let's do it the smart way. I'll be right back after this short message from the Homework Guy team. If you're a first timer on the Homework Guy channel, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the Homework Guy if you'd like a response directly from Kevin or one of the Homework Guy staff members. We're always glad to help our loyal followers and the best part is there's no charge. You can also email the team at info at the with a specific question or if you'd like a free contract review, just black out your personal information and send it to us. We'd love to hear from you. Just be aware that we do get a lot of requests, so just be patient while you wait for a response. Back to you, Kevin. With the used car market being strong, there's a really good chance that your lease vehicle may have some hidden equity, and you could be walking away with thousands of dollars in cash. People often do. If you happen to be driving a truck or SUV, your luck could be even better. And it's up to you to go get it. Are you ready for this? Before we get into some creative ways of getting out of your lease, let's do some due diligence and talk for a moment about the common penalties you might expect to incur if you try to get out of a car lease early. Paying the remaining payments on your lease. An early termination fee. Costs related to preparing the vehicle for sale. Storage and or transportation of the vehicle. Taxes associated with leasing, if any. Negative equity between your lease amount and the current amount on your car. Before making an effort to get out of your car lease, you should first carefully study your lease agreement to see if any of the penalties I just mentioned are included. Expect that you'll have to pay something, but the two most common ones are forcing you to pay the remaining payments on your lease or imposing an early termination fee. If it turns out that you have to cover the remaining payments on your lease, that will definitely be the most costly route, unless you're almost done anyway, then it's no biggie. However, for those of you who have a lot more left, and you want out, here's the deal. If the lease term is 36 months and you decide that you want out after 24 months, you could be required to pay the remaining 12 months if you terminate now. With a monthly payment of $295, for example, you'll have to come up with $3,540. That's $295 times 12 months in order to get out. Now, all of that could apply if you plan to drive your car back to the dealership today and just turn it over. However, I'm not suggesting that you do it that way. I'm recommending that you start by determining both the trade value and the private party book value of the vehicle. You can trade it in or sell it outright. You have both options. It's your right to buy it at the end of the lease anyway, and you might have acquired some equity in the car already. If you have, why not trade it or sell it yourself and get the money out of it? It's your money. Now, to determine if you have equity in your lease car, you have a couple of options. You can start by checking the used car listings for the same year vehicle the make, model, trim level, miles, and condition. Look at the private party listings. You can also book out with Kelly Blue Book or Edmunds car appraisal page through either Kelly or Edmunds. You can get the trade-in and private party values of the car. You can also opt in for an instant cash offer for your vehicle from both Kelly and Edmunds. Both of them do this. This gives you some numbers to compare to. The next thing you have to do is find the residual value. It'll be listed on your lease contract. Now, you just have some simple math to do. Subtract the residual value from either the private party value if you're going to sell it outright yourself, or the trade value if you plan to trade it in, or that instant cash offer that you got from Kelly or Edmonds, and this gives you the approximate equity you might have in the leased car. Knowing the current market value of your leased car and showing the dealership you've done your research on pricing will strengthen your negotiating position. If your car is a year or more away from the end of the lease, you can also call your leasing company to ask for a buyout price. Subtract the buyout price from the current market value of the car. 
again, to determine if you have equity. If the math seems to be in your favor and you want to turn your lease car equity into cash, there's two ways to do it, and both may not apply to every situation. The first option, trade in your lease car and get a check. That's the fastest way, as I mentioned earlier, and you can get an instant offer from either Kelly or Edmonds like this. Those offers are generally good for several days, and they'll usually direct you to a local dealership to collect. It's not that big of a deal to do. Enter a few details about your vehicle, get an offer, and it's possible to have it paid out the same day. It actually does happen that way. You can take your car to a different dealer than the one you leased from. The dealer you bring it to will pay the leasing company what you owe and give you a check for the equity. However, don't expect the money immediately. The dealership mails a check once they have a clear title. As with anything, get it all in writing with the stated amount that's due to you. The second option. Sell your lease car in a private party sale to a neighbor, friend, or family member. It's definitely easiest to sell your car to somebody you know, but you can sell it to any buyer you find and you would definitely get more for it than if you went for the Edmonds or Kelly instant offer route. Here's how it works if you sell the car a private party. After agreeing to the sale with a buyer, have that person mail a check for the amount directly to the leasing company. It's the only way it can be done. Since the leasing company will only send the title to you, You'll have to receive it, sign it over to the new buyer. The buyer can then register the car and pay a sales tax on it at the local DMV. Be a little bit careful here though. Consider taking a drive with the buyer to the DMV with the title in hand and make sure the transfer happens. If you don't want outstanding tax liability or other problems, if the person doesn't transfer the title right away, well, you can save yourself a couple of headaches. Here's the third option. Use the equity you show on paper as the down payment on your next car, using the trade-in option. In this scenario, the equity in your current car becomes cash down payment for the new one. Once you know you have equity, you can take your car to any dealer to begin the new lease or sales contract. Negotiate just as you always would. Verify that the dealer you are shopping at is matching the trade numbers you got from Kelly or Edmonds. They should be very similar. If you go the trade route and plan to get back into the same kind of car, it's possible you will do a little better in the end. Turning in a Honda at a Honda dealership and then going with another Honda, well, that can ultimately net a better deal for you. I hope this discussion about options on cashing out early on a lease were helpful to you. If so, that's a score for everyone. As our return viewers know, here on the Homework Guide channel, we publish tons of videos on this channel. Make sure you check them all out. We've gone to a lot of work to make sure that you have all this information available, so get out there and use them. If you learned something today about lease cars and appreciate the video, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy. Share the video on social media with your friends and family and make sure to join us on Facebook and Twitter too. We do post notifications and other updates on our other social media sites and answer car buying questions there too. If you love what we do and want to say thanks for the tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in that description box down below. Tips always keep our team fired up to do more videos for you. You can say thanks by sharing our videos with your family and friends and continue encouraging others to subscribe to the channel. That's huge. It's one of the most important things you can do as a loyal follower and viewer here on the channel. We appreciate everything you do because you help us get the word out. Defeating those bad guys who are still hanging on and haven't figured out that fairness and honesty is the best business model. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time. Take care everyone.